But, Brandon, let's move on into our next topic. And we kind of mentioned Ohio State, so we'll kind of use them as the example early on. But what I want to look at with the college football playoff rankings, as you guys are watching this on YouTube, they're already out. If you're listening to this on Blog Talk Radio, then they could be out, could not be out as we record our podcast on Monday. But this could be the first year, Brandon. I was looking at kind of the standings and the records for most teams that could be playoff worthy. And by the end of the year, not right now, but by the end of the year, we could have a few two lost teams that could be worthy. We could have an Auburn team that is a two loss team, but very worthy. We could have a Georgia team that's a two loss team, but very worthy. A Clemson team that's a two loss team, but very worthy. You've got right now Ohio State, Notre Dame. We've got USC. These are guys that could win their conference championship, Washington as well. I want to ask you, of the teams that could go in that two-loss bracket, is this going to finally be the year, finally, that we get a two-loss team into the college football playoff? I'm going to say no. I kind of had a feeling you would. And the reason I say no is because right now, Alabama, they have Mercer, and they have... uh, Gotta watch out for that Mercer, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they've got got Mercer, and then they've got Auburn. Mm -hmm. They've got Mercer, and they've got Auburn. So... Let's say Alabama loses to Auburn. If they do, I don't think it's going to happen, but they're they're then 11 and 1. Mhm. Miami, if they lose to Clemson, it, Pitt, they play Pittsburgh, I would call that a win. They mm-hmm. lose to Clemson, they're at one loss. Oklahoma, I don't think that Oklahoma is going to lose another game now. So they're at one loss. Clemson could be at two losses, but I feel like if Georgia, if you kind of jump down and you're able to take a look and Georgia's able to win their next two, I think that they would have a, a better chance to then get in over Clemson, who would who would have two losses. Then mm-hmm. Georgia would be inserted there, and you'd have Alabama, Miami, Oklahoma, and Georgia. Possibility. But I, yeah. I'm looking at this Ohio State. I think they're done for. Notre Dame, I said it last week, mm-hmm. it was bigger for Notre Dame. I think that yep. they're now 8-2, and two, they're out, they're done. Um, Oklahoma State, I also believe that they're probably out. TCU now at two losses, I think they're out. USC, they've been out in my mind for a while. Penn State's been out since they lost to Ohio mm-hmm. State. Again, these are things in my mind. Yeah. Um, UCF, at 9-0, and they were never getting in because of their schedule. Mm-hmm. I, I think that you're looking at teams right at the top. Alabama... Miami, Oklahoma right now. Those are three teams that I think if they're able to take care of business the rest of the way, they're going to be okay. And Alabama to me, even if they lose that game to Auburn at the end of the season, Alabama I think is still in, but then Auburn, they could be. I don't think it's going to happen. The reason Mm -hmm. I said no is because I didn't think Alabama was going to lose to Auburn. Still don't because they haven't played Mm -hmm. two weeks away. But... If Auburn's able to pull off the miraculous, Mm -hmm. which Mississippi State did a pretty darn good job against Alabama this past week. Struggle win for the Crimson Tide. It certainly was. It certainly was. But Alabama, let me tell you, the great teams are able to win games like that. You don't play that well, Mm -hmm. and you're still able to get the win against a quality opponent. But if Alabama, if, Mm -hmm. if, 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 Alabama loses to Auburn, one, I will be shocked. And two, then Auburn, I think, would be very playoff worthy. And that could be then your two loss team. But I'm going on the fact. The reason why I said no originally to your question is because I'm going off of the assumption Mm -hmm. that the Alabama Crimson Tide will not lose to Auburn, will go undefeated in the regular season, and will be the number one seed when we get to the playoffs. Some few things that I want to map out really quick and this is as we're recording this we don't know what the committee is going to do for this week but kind of some things your the first point 
that I just want to squash right away. I completely agree with you. Penn State is done. Don't sleep on Ohio State. I know, uh, no, it's I, not I, sleeping. Wait, wait, wait. It's it's understanding. I, I know you're getting it. I know you're saying they're not. I think that there's a there's a better chance that they get in than a Penn State. They are the one two loss team that I'm like don't fucking sleep on because if we look at last year our last week's playoff rankings, yeah they were 13, but now Michigan State has lost. You have Washington now has two losses, which I would say. The loss to Stanford is a lot worse than the loss to Oklahoma that Ohio State has. Or in I know I was there, but I'm looking at the ranked one. Also, that one's a little tricky. However, how do you view it? I would take Big Ten over Pac-12. You now have TCU with the second loss. However, that's a common loss with Oklahoma now because with Ohio State because TCU just lost to Oklahoma. So we have new teams entering the fold. Notre Dame as well just got beat, and they are now a two-loss team. That's why I'm saying don't sleep on Ohio State. That that little meter, beep, beep, it's still going. It's still ticking. They don't need life support yet, Brandon. They're, they're almost there, but they're still alive. The other thing I wanted to mention, how interesting could the SEC be? Because I know you said you don't think Alabama— will go ahead and lose to Auburn. Well, you're hoping they won't because if Auburn goes ahead and wins out, you're going streaking, buddy. That's what we said on the last podcast. But if Auburn wins out, what kind of scenario do you have? For Alabama, of course, winning out is the best scenario. But I would say even losing to Auburn could equally be as good for Alabama. Because think about this. If Auburn wins out, and just in this situation, Alabama would have one loss. Auburn would have two. Now, I know they'd have an SEC title, but where it becomes interesting is where you rank the two loss teams. Georgia would also have two losses. And what you could then say, Alabama to Georgia, is, yeah, well, we lost to Auburn. Yeah, you lost to Auburn. Yeah, but you lost to them twice. Boom. Alabama above Georgia in my mind. Just the, you lost to him twice, we only lost to him once. So that would put Alabama above. And then you look at the other teams. Let's say Miami wins out. Then it's like, ah, Clemson, Alabama. Yes, but Alabama's one loss is a lot better than the two losses that Clemson had. So I think any of the two lost teams would not be able to hop Alabama. And yeah, they wouldn't be number one. They'd probably be number four. But they could still get into the playoff if they lose to Auburn. Here's the tri- Here's the thing that I know, though. Wisconsin, Miami, Alabama control their own fate. If those three teams win out, they're playoff teams because they're the only ones that are undefeated. The only thing that then goes into it is, is Clemson going to lose to a Miami and go to two losses? Is an Oklahoma going to lose? Because you look at Oklahoma right now, their last two games, I this one coming up's a bye week. They're playing Kansas, but they play UNLV in their last regular season game, and then they're going to get a chance to, right now it would be TCU, that they play in the Big Ten title game. It depends on what happens in the last two weeks between Oklahoma State Wait, and who, TCU. Who, who'd you say? You said Oklahoma's playing UNLV in their last regular no, season game? No, no, West game? Virginia. West Virginia. I Did I say UNLV? You said UNLV, I meant and I'm to saying, say, uh, let me check that schedule I meant, again I meant that to I say, just checked a second meant ago. meant to say West Virginia. So they All play right. West Virginia in that final game. Then it comes down to that Big 12 championship, either if it's TCU or Oklahoma State. Hey, both of those two teams could lose a shocker in the last two. We could get a Oklahoma-West Virginia or a oklahoma well, West Virginia, if they beat Oklahoma, but we could get that matchup as well. So we don't know what that matchup is going to be set in stone either. The thing that I think we're getting towards is we're almost getting towards full chaos here in college football. Because I think we're going to have a couple teams that we look at at the end of the year where it's like, oh, well, this team's got two losses and this one. But I really like this team over that team. I don't think it's going to be as clear cut as it's been in years past. Okay, let me ask you a question. Out of that, you said mm-hmm. you you said that Ohio State. You think their their ticker's still going? Do you think the ticker is still going for Notre Dame? 
No, no conference championship. That's what we talked about earlier is nipping them in the bud right now. I think the only thing, the only thing that is helping Ohio State and why that ticker is barely alive is if they win out. Yeah, I know the Miami win won't look as good now, but it's still a rivalry game. That's the rat poison game for the Buckeyes. Just avoid not losing that game. But you would get a win over, in our minds, a playoff team in Wisconsin this week, and you would have a conference championship. That's the big thing. How are conference championships going to be viewed this year by the by the brand new committee? Because I was going to say, you say that Ohio State still has, you think they still have mm-hmm. some life. You don't think that the Irish still have life, and it confuses me mm-hmm. because you look at the Irish and they've played against two. They, the, I shouldn't say t- they've they've lost to two very, very good teams. Georgia at the time was 15. They lost them by one point. This Georgia mm-hmm. team has clearly shown that they're one of the best in college football this year. Mm-hmm. They lose to Miami. They get blown out. I mean, they are run out of Hard Rock yeah. Stadium. 41-8. to eight. Mm-hmm. But Miami is legitimate. I mean, yeah. they're legitimate. I, I, I picked Notre Dame to win this past week, but... I know Miami's a good football team. Mm-hmm. Their wins, they beat a Michigan State team that was ranked last week. They beat them 38-18. to 18. Blowout by 20 points, probably. Mm-hmm. The Ohio State Buckeyes whooped up on Michigan State this past weekend, 48-3. So you've got to three. the common opponent there. USC, 11 at the time, and still kind of around... 49-14, the Irish beat them. Mm-hmm. NC State, 14 at the time, in a quality team this year. 35-14, the Irish whoop them up. Mm-hmm. You talk about If you want to talk about an eye test, Notre Dame is winning the eye test over Ohio State. Right now. E- easy. Right, right now. now. Does, no. I'm saying they, at the they, end yes, of the year yes, it changes. Right because here's but do, you, do, you think, do you think that it is... Okay, so so the Irish they they don't have that mm-hmm. conference, so they don't have that conference championship game. I agree with you. I think they need to be in a conference because when it gets to this point, and we're at this point, that's eight and two here, eight and two here, mm-hmm. and you're going okay. Well, you know, Ohio State, they're gonna, you know, if let's say both of them, they win out the, the rest of their games. I'll tell Notre you, Dame wins there too, exactly. and, and 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 Ohio State wins there too. Are you gonna give it to Ohio State just because they have the opportunity to win one more and win an an important quote unquote important game? Whereas Notre Dame, they've still won all their games that they needed to here at the end of the season, and they go ten and two. I'll tell you exactly. Here's what I look at. Let's say both teams win out. So Notre Dame wins their last two. You then have Ohio State win their last three, it would be. What I would look at if it was me on the committee is first I would take the losses. For Ohio State, you've got the Oklahoma State game, which wasn't close. Oklahoma. Oklahoma game that wasn't close. You've got the Iowa game that wasn't close. You've got Notre Dame, lost by one point to Georgia. Georgia's been a top-four team most of the year, number one team up until this week, and Miami, who's going to be a top-four team now. So in the losses and that thing, check to Notre Dame. They won that. For the wins, Michigan State, Michigan State, Ohio State beat them a little bit better than Notre Dame did. Also, when I look at Notre Dame, yeah, you've got then USC and then NC State, as the other two ranked opponents, I'm going over to Ohio State. You beat Penn State, which was a number two team, and you went ahead and did that. Yeah, it was one point, but you went ahead and came back in that game, and you also have the win, like I said, over Michigan State. The thing that's going to come into play is then that Wisconsin win. You're beating a playoff team, which I would say those three ranked teams would be better than the wins. I would rank that better than the wins that Notre Dame has, so check. One here, one here, the conference championship. It's got to, you've got to award a team for a conference championship, then why play the conference championship? Just to have an extra game to see if an Alabama or a Wisconsin will lose in that last game? You know what I mean? Well, I don't think, I, I think that you can probably call the Michigan State game a tie because it doesn't okay. matter how bad you beat them. You, both of you, you, you both whooped up on them. It but was, in college football, it comes down to that. Well, college football is the but, but, only sport but, 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 that comes but, down to that. But you took what I just said out of context is it doesn't matter how you beat them in this sense because mm-hmm. you both blew them out. 38 to 18 
or 48 to 3. You whooped their ass. But who won by the bigger margin oh, who of victory? Who cares in this situation? I'm saying that's but no, college it, football but does. But not in this scenario. Not in that one game. It does not matter. You beat them. You beat them. You beat them by 20 mm-hmm. or you beat them by 45. You beat them by a lot. But what I'm saying is in the mindset of college football, it's always been how much have you beaten on that team I, is what I, I'm saying. I get it. I, I agree, under, I, I I agree understand with you. how you win the games is, is, is something that you look at. But at the same time, in this certain mm-hmm. instance with Michigan State, you both beat them by a lot of points. So mm-hmm. let's move on to the next point then. USC. Notre Dame takes care of them with their eyes closed, mm-hmm. 49-14. NC State takes care of them by plenty. So Ohio State, they haven't, you know, they haven't finished up their their, their schedule, obviously. Mm-hmm. And when you take a look at the win that they had against, against oh, uh, Penn State, uh, ends up being a huge win for them, but my Ohio State haters that hate me already mm-hmm. are going to love me when I say they didn't win, Penn State lost. I know they came back for 18 points. It was an impressive comeback in the fourth quarter, but Penn State gave that game away. Notre Dame handily but to won use, their game. But to use the logic that you kind of use with Michigan State, you still won the game. I understand. You still understand. won the game. You did. So, I mean, you it did, doesn't matter I've, how many points you but, won by, you but, still won the but game. But also, too, and I know that people can mm-hmm. go back and say for, for Notre Dame that, you know, well, who did, you know, who did they play? But Ohio State, I mean, out, really, outside of mm-hmm. Oklahoma and Penn State, they have played, eaten cupcake after cupcake. I mean, Rutgers, Maryland, Nebraska. And then, you know, you've got Illinois here at the end. You can make a case for Ohio State, but to me, they're dead in the water. Mm -hmm. To me, Notre Dame's dead in the water. I'm just trying to, with you, understand how you believe that Ohio State is still alive, but Notre Dame is dead. I believe they're both dead. Well, and like I said... With Ohio State, there's a difference between being barely alive and being a first-year playoff team. For for me, in my mind, for Ohio State to make the playoff, a lot of shit is going to have to go down. Honestly, if they want to make the playoff, let's be honest, they'll have to win out. So, I mean, you'll have Wisconsin there, but then you'll have the debate of Wisconsin only has one loss— you have two loss. Yeah, I know you won the conference championship, but Wisconsin only has one loss. Then you've got the what if Auburn? What if they're fighting with Auburn? They both have that championship. Auburn would easily beat in Ohio State. So Ohio State needs the dominoes to fall exactly in their favor. And that's why with Ohio State and Notre Dame, I think this is looking on the outskirts of what it could be. What I want to do is for you, for Blog Talk Radio, you guys, this is just going to go right on through, and this is going to be just one long discussion. I apologize for YouTube. I did not intend for this to happen, but I'm making an executive decision here where I didn't expect for us to go this long on just this. I think this is a part one, part two. I think we just hit part one. There are teams in this two loss thing we have not even touched. Miami, or not Miami, Clemson. The Big 12, the SEC. So I'm going to ask you right now for everyone to see. You okay with axing the Miami topic going into a part two and kind of using Miami into that topic? Yeah, I'm all right with that. Okay, that's what we're going to do. So on YouTube, like I said, this is kind of part one. Let us know what you guys think down below. I know this part one was mainly a little Ohio State and Notre Dame with a little bit of intro. But the one thing I want to throw in there just to end this is... What's going to be interesting with all of this two loss is if the Pac-12 can either play themselves in, which not going to happen, or are the committee going to look at Pac-12 wins and go, just not that impressive because of what the conference has been this year. I want you guys to let us know what you guys think down below in the comment section. 